Happy Friday, oil traders. It is October 6th at 9.05 a.m. here on the East Coast in North America. And wow, we are down again on a minus 2% plus day on the price of crude as uh, the bulls aren't able to hang on to $50 crude even with all the bullish news that we've had. It's, I'm, even I'm surprised. I mean, I'm a bear, as you guys can see from my uh, tradingjournal.ca account, I am entirely in the bear side. I sold my last long position yesterday um, and uh, bought again short. Um, and that makes me look um, pretty smart today, but you know, it's, it's always a, a guessing game and I could have just as well have been wrong and buying more short today, um, which I plan to do after I sell some shorts first. Um, so let me tell you what I think I'm going to do. I, I'm looking at the chart here. I've zoomed out um, for a couple of months view to see kind of where the resistance levels are. Right now where we're settling in is, uh, as you can see, is a resistance level that goes back to uh, mid-September. Um, if we do continue to go down, we're going to find a little bit of resistance at about 49.40 and then again at about 49.20 or so. Um, the question of course is, do, do you not sell shorts here and wait for those next levels or, or get out now in case we go back up? And uh, in my case, I'm assuming that we can hold to these levels um, for our open here in North America. I'm going to be selling. Selling my shorts and buying some long. Um, not to say that uh, I believe that we're going to go straight back up or anything like that, but I'm prepared to hold on to my longs even if we keep going down. Um, but I'm not prepared to um, hold on to as many shorts as I have if we go back up. That'll, that'll be frustrating simply because of my short exposure at the moment. Um, I kind of want to reduce that and rebalance it with some long positions. So that's kind of what I'm thinking today. So assuming that we can hold to these sorts of levels, kind of mid-49 area for the North American Open, I'm going to be exiting three short positions. Um, I have shorts from yesterday's short, um, the 5089 short. Um, that will be quite profitable. I have a short from 5020, which will be quite profitable, and another short at about 4960, which would be kind of break even ish area. Um, and, and again, the reason for potentially, assuming we can hold on to these levels, um, getting out of the 4960 short is to reposition it on a bounce. Uh, so if, for example, we open at this kind of mid 49 level, I think a bounce up to 4980 at least, if not a retest of 50 is quite likely, at which point I could repurchase that short. Um, so that's kind of my thought process. Um, if I'm wrong and we continue going down, of course, then I lose out on the profits that I could have had on that 4960 short. And of course, I would be also losing on the long purchase that I would be planning on making at the open with these prices as well. Um, so it's it's a risk either way. Um, either you're losing money on on uh, a position, or you're losing potential profits that you could have had um, by get, selling too early. Um, so it's a risk either way. Um, we do we do have uh, Baker Hughes rig count data today, but honestly. It hasn't had any impact uh, in the past few weeks, so I don't expect it to have any impact today. Um, but uh, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, etc. etc. Uh, in the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check in with you guys towards end of trading at 4 p.m. Eastern Time here on the East Coast. Until then, good luck. Cheers.